assalamu alaikum students today we will learn about the beliefs of shah waliullah how his beliefs were formed and the problems he highlighted which were prevailing in muslim community at that time as i have already told you in my previous lesson that when he returned uh, back to delhi in 1732 he found the muslim society demoralized disorganized and divided and it pained him a lot to see the muslims in such conditions uh, he uh, he wanted to improve the muslim community as a whole uh, to uh, reform the community he first highlighted the problems which were prevailing in muslim uh, community one of the first problem he highlighted was that the mughal empire was uh, was in a declining condition and muslims were disunited and vulnerable to attack on their religion uh, shah waliullah realized, uh, realized that the mughal uh, mughal empire uh, is no more a powerful empire uh, as it used to be and the leaders are not capable Uh, they are uh, uh, weak and they could not uh, wield uh, the kind of a power as their ancestors uh, could so he uh, so he believed that the uh, reforms could not come from that kind of a weak leadership especially the mogal leadership so he tried to organize uh, the community uh, in a such a way Uh, and he tried to reform the community muslim community in such a way that a uh, new leadership could emerge from within that community so and secondly uh, sec he, second his he, he uh, believed that the muslims were ignorant about islam and teachings of the holy quran and he believed that many of the problems of the muslim resulted from their incomplete knowledge of quran uh, quran and uh, about islam in general it was necessary that quranic teachings become more accessible to the people uh, once they could understand the islam properly uh, and the word of god uh, which, uh, which is quran if they could understand uh, it properly then it uh, it can create uh, feelings of solidarity among them it can unite the muslim community again thirdly he saw the muslim community disunited uh and uh, uh, divided into many sectarian groups especially in Sh uh, shia and sunni sects shah waliullah wanted them to concentrate on the fundamental principles of islam and put aside their differences believing that this could create a more united community shah waliullah also believed that the many un-islamic rituals and practices have creeped in muslim culture and he believed that those uh, practices should be removed because he believed that the un-islamic principles were not acceptable in any area of society whether politics economic or just day-to-day -day lives of the individual muslims so he uh, believed that the all political social and economic behaviors should be based on islamic principles so these were the problems he highlighted uh, which were prevailing in muslim society at that time let me repeat again uh, those problems uh, first he highlighted that uh, mughal uh, empire uh, was in a declining condition Uh, they were disintegrated and the uh, the uh, mughal rulers uh, were weak and incapable secondly he, uh, he he highlighted that muslims have incomplete knowledge uh, of uh, islam um, and as well as also uh, quran and uh, the hurdle he thought uh, thought and uh, or con he considered was the arabic language thirdly he uh, highlighted uh, the uh, differences among shia and sunni uh, the differences among the different uh, sects of islam he wanted those uh, differences to be breached uh, breached and third uh, fourth he uh, believed that all political and social life of the muslims should be based on islamic principles 
or these were his beliefs uh, and these were the problems which he highlighted uh, in uh, islamic society so uh, after defining those problems he tried to provide the solutions of those problems uh, and he provided different services uh, through which these problems can be uh, resolved uh, in the next video lesson we will uh, learn about those services and we will categorize those services into two category one uh, uh, as a religious category and second as a political category his what were his religious services and what were his political services in a meantime i would like you to read uh, about beliefs of shah waliullah from the page number 5 of your book and try to answer the question uh, Uh, which i am going uh, to tell uh, the question is what shah waliullah believed was essential to create a good society let me repeat it again what shah waliullah believed was essential to create a good society so this is uh, the home your homework try to answer uh, this question in your own word don't uh, write uh from the book as it, it, it uh, as it is as it is written in the book Re, uh, write it in your own word uh, thank you very much for listening and watching this video in the next video lesson we will talk about his religious and political services khuda hafiz